Yo, welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet Violet VGC video. It's Jose Rocks, and I'm gonna go ahead and get into this. So, what we have today is the new regulation uh, D has been announced this morning, and I hope you guys are excited uh, because all the new Pokemon that just came back in the Pokemon Home update are now available outside of the restricted Pokemon. So it's gonna be actually banning the restricteds. So it starts um, July 1st and it goes all the way through September 30th. So the interesting thing about this is that this is gonna be our Worlds format. So this for Pokemon Worlds this year, this is what the format that we're gonna be playing in. And what's also interesting about that is that we won't have any regionals or any tournaments before this comes around. So the first time we actually get to, you know, play in a tournament with, you know, not a official tournament, official tournament, because there will be like some uh, online tournaments that you can do, but official tournament, the first official tournament for this format will be Worlds, which is kind of crazy to me. Um, so all the restrictors are banned, Mewtwo, Mew, uh, Kyogre, Groudon, Rayquaza, uh, the mythical Pokemon, of course, Zacian, Zamazenta, Eternatus, uh, the Calyrex Twins, and as well as Karida and Maridon. What's interesting to me though, is that Walking Wake and Iron Lees, which aren't restricted, um, I believe they're just regular Paradox Pokemon like the other Paradox, right? They're actually banned. So that's very interesting to me. Um, I, I wonder what it would have been like if all the Paradox Pokemon were banned for Worlds, and that way it would just be like the Ruinous Pokemon plus the Pokemon from home, Pokemon Home. I think that would give a lot of viability to some of the Pokemon that are returning, right? Because the Paradox Pokemon are still going to be a lot more powerful. Um, I do believe, you know, Regilecki can come in, uh, Urshifu can come in and make an impact. But the, the funny thing about Regilecki is that it actually gets outsped by Iron Bundle if it's timid with the booster energy. Which means you can outspeed Regilecki with something um, and go for Icy Wind and then KO Regilecki with like a Flutter Mane something next to it so that that's gonna be kind of interesting to see like do we finally see like the rise of like scarf and lecky um i think that could be interesting right it is sad to see that um roaring moon not roaring moon uh walking wake and arlies won't be available because they're just paradox like the other ones so i do think scarf and lecky is gonna be become common you're gonna go max speed on this and I don't even, you don't really need, all you need to outspeed Iron Bundle is, you don't even need any speed investment. You just go Scarf for Lecky and that way you can go max uh, special attack and then you can invest into the bulk. And then this with the Choice Scarf for outspeed Iron Bundle with the booster energy. So that's kind of interesting to see that you can start to have like a bulky Scarf uh, Lecky, right? Or you could just go max speed and just be faster than anything on Tailwind and all that as well. So I think that's gonna be fun. It's gonna be an interesting meta change um, to see whether people are going with Regilecki that doesn't need an item to outspeed everything or with the Booster Energy Iron Bundle, which is kind of like the most common item on it rather than you might see Focus Sash or Choice Specs here and there. But I think it's, it's gonna be fun. So we can just uh, take a little review of some of the things that are coming back. Um, I did do a ranking video ranking all the non-restricteds. Um, my, my rank video with the restrictors is going to come out at a little later date since the restrictors are going to be banned. But I still do want to rank them. Charizard, Alolan Raichu, Alolan uh, Duck Trio, Alolan Persian, Hisuian Arcanine. A lot of uh, different regional uh, Pokemon are coming back. Uh, Slowbro, Muck, Electro, uh, regular gen Generation 1 Tauros will be coming back. Articuno, both forms, Zapdos, both forms. Moltres, Typhlosion, Hisuian, uh, regular Quagsire, Slow King, um, the Lake Twins or Triplets, the Lake Triplets as of Uxie and Mess Spirit, Heatran. It's going to be really fun to use with uh, Heatran with Terra. So now you can lose that because Heatran's always been good, right? Now you can like go safety goggles and drop that uh, four times weakness to uh, ground. I think it's going to be really interesting. Cresselia can be interesting in the format without Dynamax. Um, this is one of the Pokemon I'm most excited to play with, Lilligant in the Sun. 
Um, I'm interested to see how good this with the Ceaseless ability is going to be. I did say in my last video that uh, Ceaseless Edge is 65 base power, but I didn't take into the account that uh, you're going to be running Sharpness on this, so it's going to be about 95 base power or 90 base power. So we'll see how good that is. I think Cleavor is going to be the better of the two that can set up um, hazards. Um, this Pokemon is going to be pretty good. Uh, all of the genies, they get the move, um, a double-hitting uh, wind move. Well, I think it's based it's ground or uh, fairy or electric based on the typing. But it hits both targets, which I did not know that. It's a spread move. It's 80% accurate, but it has, like, really good secondary effects. Like, Landorus' secondary effect has a chance to burn you. Um, Thunderous has a 30% chance to paralyze you. And this has 30% chance to lower your speed. I'm not sure what the uh, the fairy one does. But we have uh, Chestnut, Delphox, Greninja. I'm interested to see how well they do. I keep hearing that this Gujo is going to be really good. I'm interested to see that. Avalog, Decidueye, Cinderace uh, is coming back, Inteleon, the Urshifu twins, they're going to be really good. Uh, there's no way you can dinner these two Pokemon. They're just going to go through your protects. Uh, the Regis, um, as far as Regieleki and Drago, the other three Regis or uh, four Regis have not come back. Uh, Calyrex, Glacier, they're going to be pretty decent. This is going to be a really good Trick Room Sweeper. Um, I can see a Trick Room team revolving around Glacier and Ursaluna and um, Enamorous, like being a really strong Trick Room team, right? With like three Trick Room Sweepers. And this is actually a special Sweeper, so it goes really good alongside these two, right? Now you have Ice, Ground, and Fairy. Like, that's just like perfect coverage as far as Trick Room Sweepers. Like, you have Ice, Ground, and Fairy, like, you can't beat that, right? Um, Sneasler, Basculin, Cleavor, Weird Deer. Um, regular enamorous. I'm not sure why Gimme Ghoul is here. It's already in the game. But, but yep, so this is what we have. I believe this format is going to be really fun. Uh, I do wish that we did get at least like one regional before Worlds to like see some action with this. But this is going to be a fun format. I'm interested to see what Pokemon is going to win Worlds. I'm going to go with a hard prediction right now. I do think that Tornadus, this Tornadus is going to be on the winning team. I just got a feeling. Uh, I just want to pick one Pokemon I feel like it's going to be on the winning team from the Pokemon that it just came back. I think it's going to be Tornadus. Um, Rillaboom has gotten nerfed. It doesn't get Grassy Glide anymore, so that's kind of sad. If it got Grassy Glide, I would it would be my pick to win Worlds. Um, pretty sure Urshifu might be on one of those teams. Maybe Regieleki. But Regieleki has competition now with the Iron Bundle, which is what I'm interested to see, like, which one comes out on top. Because Regieleki actually beats Iron Bundle because it's a water type, but Iron Bundle can outspeed it with the booster energy. So we'll see, like, if that Choice Scarf Regieleki actually comes, like, being a thing. But, like I said, Tornadus next to Regieleki, Rain Dance, Thunder is going to be really fun. Uh, Lilligant and the Sun is going to be really good. But I think Tornadus, if I had to do a, a second Pokemon to be on the winning team, I'm going to choose Lilligant. Lilligant and Tornadus are my two picks, one or two. Um, let me know what your pick is, um, which one do you think is going to win Worlds, and what, what's going to be the first team that you build around. Uh, drop a like, uh, leave a comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I will catch you all in the next one. All right, deuces.